So I downloaded this data set from Curiously. Uh, they released these open poll results that they got. Um, I just focus on these 10 social demographical variables that they have, like basic variables like gender by age, ethnicity group, um, income, uh, level of education, the region where they come from, state, uh, the where they, the employment status, um, all the things like where they like the type of profession that they have and whether they're uh, from urban or rural areas. Okay, um, just using that, I created a prediction model with graphics. It's pretty easy. You just select what is your target. In this case, is the party they're gonna vote for is this variable on the left, the target variable. Okay. Um, we see that the results are pretty similar to the final results that we got. Uh, so it's not a bad survey. Um, it's a little bit skewed towards um, young people, I think, or I'm not sure about that, but it can be weighted. Anyway, the thing is that you can select this as factors and create a prediction model. And when you do that, what is very interesting is that you get this graph. Um, basically, each dot here represents a person, and we can add each it's people, it's person to the person that they're closest in terms of these variables. Um, so that we get these different groups of people uh, that are clusters and we put them a name, a uh, number. Um, and you see, we have over, I think, 22 clusters. Um, we just color uh, the top 10 in terms of size. And that's why you see many gray, gray uh, clusters. But um, Let's see it. What is very interesting is when we color this by the candidate they're going to vote for. So that uh, blue people are the ones who are going to vote for Biden, while uh, the orange ones are the ones that will go for, for Trump. So just, you know, looking just at this, uh, we can see that this cluster over here has a super big majority of voters for Biden because there is predominantly blue, right? If I select them just like this, this is gonna tell me like how these people are defined. And that's insignificant variables. You see, recognizity, these people are black or African-American. Uh, I can also see that these people are females. I can also see that they are from the South or Midwest, um, that they are retired, not able to work, not working, but seeking to work. So probably low income, uh, that's in fact here, less than under 25,000. Uh, not many studies, the level of studies is low, as you can see here. So once you have that combination of variables, you see like the big, big majority of these people will vote for Biden. Um, some of them will be undecided, but very few will vote for Donald Trump, okay? Now let's do the opposite. Let's try to identify a cluster where the majority of voters will go for Trump. Like this one, I see, like most people here are orange. So I'm gonna select them and see what defines them. So you see, these are retired people, all of them, almost, almost all of them. <laughs> uh, male, they are from the South as well, but male and retired. Uh, all, of course, they retire, over 65. And we can see that they are white. Um, once, once you have all that, you see the big majority of them will vote for Trump. I mean, we see the difference is smaller than the previous cluster with Biden, but it still is the big, big majority will vote for them, okay? So, I mean, I could keep going and see which clusters are more representative. I just have to select this, right? And here I can click on uplift and I see which ones are like, which combinations of factors are more pro Biden, pro Donald Trump. You see, like again, number 13, the ones that we previously saw is very, very close to, 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 to Biden, right? Like this one is also very close. Uh, that is uh, working full time or working part time. Uh, what else? Like working in office world sales or retail uh female and from the midwest well that goes for apparently that goes for for biden um middle age well young people as well okay so you see you can just do that but what is very interesting as well is that i can see the prediction how accurate this model was and i see 
that uh, the prediction was quite accurate. In fact, you see, uh, seventy-four percent of the of the predictions were correct just by using this. So you know, like the model will see just a male, female, uh, old, young person with an ethnicity, and it will very well predict seventy-four percent of the times who they're gonna vote for. Still, I can see which combinations are more difficult to predict. For instance, if I click on wrong, again, I can see which clusters uh, are harder to predict. Um, for instance, uh, yeah, I put wrong, right? And let me put the uplift. I think it's already in the uplift. No, it's not. The 24th cluster. So you see, this is interesting. The rate ethnicity is Hispanic or Latino, okay? Uh, they are from the South. They are female, uh they are not much educated very few education and they are predominantly young 18 24 35 44 also old but mm, very representative young so young women latinos from the south uh you see the model thought that they were gonna vote for biden why because like there are other people with that characteristics in the rest of the country that will go for Biden. But for whatever reason, the truth is that the majority of them from the South voted for Trump or for none of the above or for undecided. None of them voted for, for Biden. So, I mean, if you read the news, you will see how important were the Cubans from Florida, probably because, you know, they experienced communism in their country and they perceived for some reason like the Democrats as socialists or something like that they at the end went for Donald Trump, maybe also because their roots, their Christian roots and something like that. But you see, that's super interesting. That's much more richer than the majority of analysis that are more similar to what we have in compare. If you go to compare, you just select these two clusters and you will get like what makes them more different or more similar uh, by each single variable on your own without doing these combinations. Um, this is not modeling, this is just more descriptive statistics. And you see that yes, race, ethnicity is a very good predictor. Like whites tend more to vote to for Trump than for Biden. Uh, while African Americans will most of them, <laughs> almost all of them in this poll, uh, voting are voting for for Biden for Democrats and also like you see that males are more pro Republicans while females are more Democrats like people in cities tends to vote more for Democrats while people in rural areas are more pro Republicans um, again you can keep going and see and check this but what is really exciting about graphics is the possibility to create these models super easily just you know defining what is the thing that you want to predict and what are your factors and then having this way to understand these predictions um so i mean if you like this you are very free to go to graphics.com um go to start now and register for free we have a freemium version we're limited to to two projects and up to ten thousand rows per data set the majority of surveys are less than that um and try on your own uh, please do and give us feedback Thank you.